Hello, I'm Ben, and I'm in the closet that has my water heater. I've been doing some work on it, and during the process of doing some work, I did some troubleshooting on the heater elements. And I thought that might make an interesting video, but it would have gotten lost in a 24-minute video about replacing an anode in the water heater. So long story short, I'm going to show you how to check your water heater elements to see if they've gone bad. So this is the circuit breaker box. And the water heater is 30, 32, 30, 32, water heater is off. Okay, this is the top of the water heater and you've got your cold water coming in to what's labeled the cold side. You've got your hot wire that comes out that would go to your house. I've got a shut off and a lot of water heaters will have a shut off both on the hot and the cold. This is where the anode goes, and that's a device that goes in the tank to keep the, the hard water from corroding the inside of the steel tank. And then last but not least, you've got your power coming in. If you've got a small tank with one heater element, it's going to be 110. If your tank is large and has two elements, it'll be 240. So now let's check out the side of the tank. You've got your high pressure valve. You've got where one element would be. And then you've got mine as another element. My hot water heater is a high efficiency water heater and has a lot of foam insulation in it. Then you've got a little plastic cover that you pop off that protects the wires and this is basically it hot wires come in to the top this is a emergency shut off in case the tank got too hot like if the element never turned off this is your temperature control for the element and then you've got two wires that go to the element I just wanted to stop in the middle of this and say two things please be safe especially around electrical wiring and thanks for watching most uh, ohm meters or volt meters have three different settings. You've got an AC voltage side, a DC voltage side, and then an ohm side. And the ohm is what tells you about resistance. And the easiest way I could probably describe it is with this wire right now, there's no resistance. So if you put a lead on one end and on the other end, you would see zero resistance. If we were to take a wire and cut it in half and then put a, a lead on each end, you would see ultimate resistance. This ohm meter has a buzzer. So right now it's reading ultimate resistance. And the buzzer tells you that there's a path. It doesn't tell you how much resistance the path caused, but it tells you that there's a path and that's probably the easiest way to tell if you have a element that's gone bad or not if you've got an element normally what happens is corrosion gets to it from being inside the water heater being hot and cold and all the uh, I want to say the stuff that's in the water the mineral deposits and everything it will collect on it but if you take the leads and put it on the ends it should tell you that there's a path through this. There's a path for the electricity to go through one side and out the other. Now this path is going to cause resistance and that resistance is going to be heat. And that's how the water heater works. You run the electricity through the element. The element produces resistance to the electricity. The electricity makes it hot and that heats up the water. But like I said, probably 90 times out of 100 if you can go to an element and do this then that means the elements good so there you have it and by far the easiest thing to do is just check the lead one on one side and one on the other and if it beeps your elements good so how do you know if you need to check your elements or if one might be bad if you've had water that's been fine for a long time and then all of a sudden you find that when you take a shower 
the water gets cold really fast or it takes longer for the water to heat up after you've taken a shower it's probably one of the elements that burned out I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video down the road.